M0FXB Ham Tech, welcome to my channel. We have our AIOC USB C adapter that basically changes twin pin connectors, you know, on your Bofun type radios into USB C, you know, which is pretty cool. You can buy them sometimes pre soldered, but this one is not pre soldered, so we're going to have to solder it. I have 3D printed this guide, which helps you does help you solder like so um, but ultimately you do have to get this these items here and snip them I'm going to do it shortly just beneath I'll just show you where just as it you know up here there's like a ridge some wings you basically cut those wings off not these two wings the higher up wings we keep they're going to be soldered but the bottom and the bit that just basically squeezes the wire, both of them, you have to chop it off. So we're going to do that now. That's one done with my little snips. You can get these two for like four pound on Amazon. Okay, that's two snipped so far. Okay, then we put it in our guide that we 3D printed. And if you turn it over, I would do that side first look because you can just solder those two quite large ones in place that's going to hold it pretty much steady for you and then if you turn over you're now soldering and you need to make sure that there's no shorts between this pad and this pad on both sides but you get the idea and then you're good to go fingers crossed plenty of flux on there good iron i clean your iron tin everything let's do it Okay, well, we think we've done it. I think I'll get a continuity tester and just test that it has all gone on. I tried to not leave the heat on for very long. So, yeah, fingers crossed. I just turn it over. That's what it looks like on the other side. That looks fine. Not so happy with this side, but it is connected. Lucky me, G1LRO has these cases. So let's see if it fits. I'm reliably informed it will fit <laughs> by a Marcus from G1LRO. So there you go. And that looks nice, neat job. That's your USB C. So have I put that in there right? I know it's sticking out a bit there, but I don't see that it could go in any other way. So let's plunk it into our radio and then we'll test it. I've been tinkering today with the Universal Controller, testing the APRS packet board. That was great fun. So if you like tinkering with these kind of devices, just check out G1LRO's site. So what we're gonna do, turn it off, plug it in there. Now it, it goes with the USB up. Now remember, if I'll check the solder in a few days and just check, see if it works. But one way of testing that this has worked, is we're going to plug in our USB here. Okay. Get some lights flashing there, red and green. I think that was a good sign, fingers crossed. But we can now turn it on and we're going to go and look at our PC. So let's show you. So we plugged it in. It is showing USB serial device COM9. Let's unplug it. So there is COM9. If I unplug the cable from my PC, ta-da, it vanishes. So that's good. Let's do another test. Let's actually try to run the firmware. Actually, I'll, I'll do that later because you need to short two cables out inside the controller to do that. So I'll just try and run Quasheng Dock. Yeah, it's working well and straight away we've actually got the audio coming out of my PC. Remember, normally you'd have to make a cable, okay? But with the AIOC adapter you just saw me, you know, assemble, no need to make the cable. And the cable is a pain in the neck to make, to be honest. Um, and so look, you've got Quashang Dot running there. And if you've never seen Quashang Dot before, works with 
all the Quashan K6, K5 radios, and probably more to come, I would say, the way that's going. Uh, fantastic work by uh, Marcus and Nick Shaw. But look, if we click XVFO, you get the, this command as well. Double click one of my favorites here. Memory channels, like so. If we come out of that window, let's click exit and go channel edit. Without without another, having to swap cables or anything, look, we can read the radio. Watch this. Read. We're now reading all my memory channels. And there they all are, and we can change them, and we can write back. There is a section on here which I'm going to play with soon, accessing repeater book. So you can import from repeater book. That's got to be a big plus. Get all your favorite repeaters in there. A massive thanks to Quasheng Doc and also to Mark at G1LRO for in the UK providing um, not just the AIOC product but the AI sort of the universal radio controller. I've got the lid off because I've been playing around with my APRS and packet radio. I'll put the link in, but you definitely need to check this out in the UK. And there is a, a USA version of this as well. You've got all these products coming and a lot more lined up. You can do your firmware on this item, which I'm going to, that's my next video. You just short these two pins out and, you know, don't go by my finger. I'll do a video, a close up video. Run this batch file that G1LRO has created to make it easy. You just go to this link here. Anyway, that's enough for this video. Lots more to come, of course. And I'm having great fun. 7-3, all the best.